We took a quick look at using interaction frames to show loops in the movie that covers the basics of interaction frames and combined fragments. But because loops are very common in sequence diagrams, we'll look at them in a little more detail here. Many business processes involve repetitive action that keeps taking place as long as some condition is true. And just as a very broad-based example, imagine a clerk whose job it is to process forms. And if that clerk notices that his or her inbox is full of forms, you could say, in effect, that the inbox is sending a message to the clerk, and that message is process form. Now the inbox, as long as it has forms is in it, isn't going to just be sending that message once. As long as the clerk looks at the inbox and sees that there are more forms, this message gets sent over and over again. Process form, process form, until the inbox is empty. So this is clearly a looping behavior, a message that gets sent over and over again as long as some condition is true. And one way that you can show that in a sequence diagram is to use an interaction frame with the loop operator. Now here, Visual Paradigm is asking which lifelines we want covered in our loop. So we'll select Inbox and Clerk, and there's our interaction frame. The operator here, the loop operator, as I said, indicates that this message will keep getting sent for as long as some guard condition is true. So we need to put in our guard condition, and we enclose that in square brackets, and we'll say while inbox has another form. And obviously you can use natural language to indicate your guard condition as long as it's clear what that condition is. So this message will loop, will keep getting sent as long as this guard is true while inbox has another form. Once this guard condition is no longer true, then we leave the loop and move to the next interaction or the next step in the sequence and which could be a self message to the clerk take coffee break now that's a very simple example and obviously when you have just one message that's getting sent here you might not even have to use an interaction frame at all you could put the guard condition while inbox has another form right on the message and if it only involves one message then that is probably the way to go because it is simpler than including the interaction frame. Let's take a look at another example. And in this example, we have three participants, an instructor who's an actor, a registrar's system, and a security system. And the instructor wants to input student grades. And so the instructor logs in and the registrar system sends a message to the security system to authenticate that user and once that happens then the instructor can start the process of putting in grades and here we have a message going from the actor to the system input grade and a return message coming back from the system to the actor uh, that that grade has been input so here instead of putting guard conditions on one message and perhaps the other message, we can put them inside the loop interaction frame. And again, we get asked which lifelines we want included, and this is an interaction between just the instructor and the registrar system, so we don't choose the security system. So this indicates that this part of the sequence, this particular interaction, is going to continue as long as a guard condition is true. And in this example, our guard condition could be something like number of grades is less than number of students, because we want to make sure that all of the students get their grades submitted. Let's move this down a little bit so we can read what we've got here. So within this interaction loop, as long as the number of grades is less than the number of students, then the faculty member will continue to input grades and the system will continue to return 
true. Once that's finished, we move on to the next step in the sequence, the next interaction, um, and the instructor asks the system to calculate the average grade, and then the system returns that. So once your diagram gets a little bit more complex, the loop interaction frame can really help you pinpoint loops within larger interactions, within a larger sequence of steps.